hello everyone so today I have I am going to update the project to newest Unreal Engine 4.23 version and also after that I am going to add a bullet trail using Niagara particle system so you see that tiny bullet trail there so that's I am going to implement using Niagara particle system And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Okay, so Unreal Engine has released 4.23. So I am going to update this project which I was doing with 4.22 to the latest version. So this is what we have at the moment. I can shoot and walk so yeah nothing much so i'm gonna close this one right so let's update this project i have made a fresh copy here to 4.23 and wait for the project to open Well, everything opened without any issue, but the shaders are yet to compile it to be compiled. Let's see, play in the game to see if we get any errors. All right, seems everything is fine. right looks like everything is fine so yeah so today I am trying to build a particle trail for the bullet a bullet trail with Niagara so yeah so first I have to go to plugins and search Niagara and enable Niagara plugin so it says I have to uh, might be unstable that's all right and restart now we have to create a material which represent the color of the world trail so let's go to material oh now let's create a new folder particle oh I already have a particles folder right let's call this bullet trail new material M let's just call it tray open it and here um, first I only need a, uh, a color so let's yeah call this color base color and I'll connect it to both base color and the MSU color and I have to yeah as for the default color I'll give white a little yellow maybe like this okay now uh, deselect everything or select the main node and under usage uh, we have to enable this used with Niagara ribbons and apply and save now here let's create a Niagara emitter which it is under effects and 
I think we can go with create a new emitter from an emitter template so here we can use this is a burst this is a loop in on this is a hanging particle static P let's just go with the loop in fountain spray right and create let's call this P tray let's just call it PE trail because this is a particle emitter and open it right so this is what we have here right now under render you have this little delete icon use it so the particle that you have by default will be gone and using this little plus button we can add a new renderer so here let's choose Niagara ribbon renderer properties okay and now for this one uh, for this material let's select this material we just created before now as you can see here you can see some kind of a ribbons are emitting so we need to change this right now without doing anything else let's just see how this particle would look in the world so for that unlike in the cascade particle system we need to create another sys uh, asset here called Niagara system so in this case I'll choose create an empty system with no emitters let's call it uh, PS stands for particle system PS trial let's open it now now under track you can add an emitter I like this Niagara PE trail Niagara emitter we created before oh wait why do we have this maybe I didn't save this here all right now it's okay right now let's just drag and drop this particle system into the world and see what happens okay so this is what we get see now what I need to do is in order to have a bullet trail I don't need this particle to have any this ribbon to have any velocity it just only I just only want it to spawn so like right let's figure out what to do here first um, here uh, in particle update under gravity force I'll set the gravity to zero because uh, the particle should not be affected by the gravity and is it going infinitely up right that's okay and any under okay yeah under velocity maybe we should make it zero right now let's apply compile save right so this is the particle effect now yeah now you can see the particle does not have it's not going up but still it has some moment it's not completely straight okay so what else we can change here is this peer location oh I think we should make this one zero oh zero right compile
Oh, I can edit here as well. Right. Okay, zero and compile. Let's see. Okay, now we get a straight particle straight trail actually not a particle trail but still I see some thing like that okay let's see how to get rid of that too okay so we have another point attribute here under initialize particle let's see so for the lifetime I'll instead of having a random one let's give only one and mass I'll make it also one color is also one 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 and rotation let's make it zero I yeah and this nothing and the life cycle right now let's see okay now I think it's all right yeah now I get a particle trail all right now let's see how to spawn this so attach this to the bullet and get the trail when I shoot so let's open our character first uh, actually yeah that should be spawned in the gun because fire function is inside the gun that's the gun right so this is the fire function fire event okay so yeah I think uh, this is the, actually the first time I'm doing this so I'm not sure what exactly oh it seems I can't drag and drop like old particles what about this one that's also no all right let's see Good. all right we can do this and here we have to define the system okay do we have something like auto activate yes all right so let's see without doing anything what happens if I just play right ah okay particle trail is drawing okay so now what I have to do is I'm gonna have to I'll disable this auto activate and then when I shoot I'll activate uh, attach this to the rifle uh, no it won't work yeah I don't have to do that so I'll keep it like this and I'll yeah I have disabled auto activate so right so now when I shoot first I'll get a reference and activate wait I need to do a sequence here otherwise it will come in this parts way right so let's add a sequence 
and here I'll activate the Niagara particle I'll call this bullet train before that I will detach from component location keyword keyword everything keyword and then I'll get the location of this nozzle of the rifle get world socket location socket is nozzle of the rifle and set location set world location to this and then activate I'll call the reset also and then Oh, component two. So I should move it to whatever the target location of the rifle. Oh, the yeah, actually this one, this location, uh, uh, whatever the point that this bullet hits. So I'll get a reference to that point like this and the yeah, target relative location should be this over time point two all right and then I need to deactivate that but uh, let's look into that later Oh wait, here I forgot to attach the bullet trail as the component. Right, okay, let's see how it looks. the trail but I think uh, that it's a uh, lifetime is a little too long so maybe can I just uh, deactivate it here Still, it's too long. Okay. So maybe here I can reduce the lifetime of the trail. Is it here? Oh. Alright, this one I think I should reduce it to 0.2 
right now we have a particle trail but it is not perfect yet um, but this is a good point to start so we will optimize this and make it look good in future <laughs> Okay, so I did a little bit of trial and error and I found out that 0 0.2, 0 0.02 for the lifetime of the trail works better. Let me show you. Right, so when I, you can see the bullet trail, it's not very prominent like it was but you can see a quick trail goes like this and yeah, I think that's enough because otherwise it would be too distracting right so yeah I'm going to stop at this point for this episode and uh, if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye